Hi guys, it's Marie. Welcome back to my little English page. First of all, I want to say thank you to all of you for being so supportive. My little English page has just gone over 2000 followers on Facebook and I could not be more excited, thrilled, over the moon. Did you notice what I just did? I used three different expressions to express that I was happy. Well, this is what we are going to do today. I have noticed that a lot of my students, once they have learned an expression or a word, they tend to use that word only. Well, if you want to be fluent in English, you need, you must use a wide range of vocabulary. Which is why I have chosen three different expressions or words that I noticed my students use over and over again. So today we are having a look at I think, I like and good. The verb to think is the verb that we most commonly use when we want to express our opinion. And it's a great verb, but that's not the only one that exists. You could, for example, use the verb to believe. I believe today is Thursday is pretty much the same as I think today is Thursday. Now, you can also use expressions. For example, in my opinion, to my mind. In my opinion, Seville is the best city to live in. To my mind, reading is a great way to learn. And here is another one. From my point of view. From my point of view, French is more difficult than English. I promise you, trust me. The second expression, or it's actually a verb, that my students tend to overuse is I like. Of course, the verb to like is one of the first verbs that you learn, so it's easy to use this verb. But there are many other verbs and expressions that are even better than like. One of my favorite expressions that mean to like is to be keen on or keen to. To be keen on is going to be followed by a noun. For example, I am keen on chocolate. But to be keen to is followed by a verb. I am keen to learn another language. Another alternative to like is to be fond of. I am fond of reading. People also forget to use the verb enjoy. This is a common verb that has a very similar meaning. I enjoy going to the cinema. Similar to enjoy is the verb to appreciate. I appreciate spending time with my friends. And my last word or expression for today is good. If I listen to my students, everything is good. Well, there's many other ways of expressing that idea. Something can be wonderful. This is a wonderful idea. An expression that is a little bit more British than American would be brilliant. This movie was brilliant. And the more American version would be awesome. This story is awesome. You could also use the word fantastic. This is a fantastic lesson, isn't it? All right, guys, that's it for today. Please make sure that you use those expressions. This will really make the difference uh, between a person who has a decent level of English and a great level of English. Don't forget to follow me on Facebook and Instagram, but also to subscribe to the YouTube channel. That way you will be informed every time there is a new post or a new video that's out. But most importantly, keep on learning.